So today I'm going to go over how to use this drawing tool to draw Lewis structures. It's something that's going to be important in our homework, and so I want to give you an opportunity to get it as right as you can. So we are asked to draw nitrogen trifluoride here. So uh, in order for us to do that, we're going to need a nitrogen atom, and we can scroll down here to the bottom of this window and pick up a nitrogen atom. And then we're going to go here, and they give you some instructions down here, but we're going to go back up in here. We just click the button once, and that adds a nitrogen atom. Now, if you know what nitrogen trifluoride looks like, we know that there are three fluorines attached to it, so I'm going to put on three more bonds. I just I selected this tool and I clicked the button three times. You notice that it added three ends. That's because I didn't change my atom to fluorine. So I'll go down here, I'll select fluorine, and then now I can put fluorine here. Whoops. I'm going to unclick this tool. And I'll, if I click here for fluorine, it's going to change that N to an F. Okay. So, um, you know, we're going to assume that I know how many valence electrons are supposed to be in this and that nitrogen should have a full octet. So in order to show a lone pair, there are these dots down here. And so I can click on these dots and click them there. And now I've got an octet around nitrogen. So I'm going to end up hitting submit. Let's see if I get that green arrow. Oh, no, I don't. I get the red check mark of unhappiness. And it says I do not have the correct valence number of electrons, number of valence electrons. And that's because fluorine should have a bunch of valence electrons around it. Right? So there should be eight, a total of eight. So if I click here once, it puts a pair of electrons on. A second time, a second pair. A third time, a third pair. That fills out that one. One, two, three lone pairs here. One, two, three lone pairs here. Okay, so that is how I can do that. And I'll hit submit, and hopefully I'll get the green check of happiness. I do. And so that is how you can go through and actually draw this structure. If you are ever in doubt, a good thing for you to do is just erase everything that is on your screen. Use the reset button if you can, just to make sure that you've got like sort of a blank um, canvas here. Sometimes you can leave, if you did a drawing and it didn't work out, sometimes you can leave an extra thing there. So that's how you end up drawing a, uh, a Lewis structure using this tool. All right, so good luck.